Um, so yeah, uh, look, tonight, tonight is a very special night for us guys. Um, you know, I get to be on stage, I get to bring Tommy Tiernan on, who, for me, is the only person who's not a traveller who does a fucking brilliant traveller accent. Am I <laughs> So you get to see a tinker bring an actor onto the stage. I mean, come on, what's the difference? I've always felt that the, it can be a struggle sometimes. If the show is too Irish, it 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 can hold you back. But at the same time, I kind of if I'm I've said this loads of times, but if if I'm going to see a Nigerian comedian or uh, an Eskimo or Croatian or Argentinian comedian. Part of the reason why I'm going is for the specific cultural references okay. that they'll have about where yeah. they're from, you know. So if I was going to see uh, a traveller comedian, I, 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 what, I'm, what I'm fascinated to hear about is a traveller perspective uh, on Ireland. If I'm going to see a comedian from Ballymun or from Valencia Island, yeah. that's what you're looking for, you know. But there are places where where that can hold you back a little bit, you know. So it's it's um, but you don't want to become so generalized and universal that you don't actually sound like you're from anywhere. To to allow yourself not to be totally pigeonholed by people who think they know what you're about before you've spoken. So and I'm sure you have that that yeah. kind of thing of of not allowing one thing to define you, you know. Maybe, maybe not allowing anything to define you. Most of my sets, up until recently, would be mainly talking to crowds mm. because that's how I, I know people. And a lot of my humour would come about from growing up in towns like Tum. Yeah. And slagging people. Just yeah, yeah. slagging if you like you. You have three options in Tum. You're either good at fighting, you're good at running. Or you could take the piss out of somebody so they wouldn't even take the piss out of you again. Yeah, yeah. That's the only thing. I was really good at taking the piss out of people. Mm. I'm not built for running. Ah! No, no shouting now. No hacking now. Oh, actually, I, I need to do the safety announcements. Um, there's one traveller in the audience. <laughs> I didn't think we should be Tala. Complete working class. And I went up with the notion that I was going to do my 15 minutes of material. Mm. And I had all set. I was thinking, alright, I'm going to talk about this, I'm going to talk about that. The second I went up, I got heckled. And that first heckle was so good that I decided this is what this crowd is up for. So yeah. I did a little bit back, and a little bit of back and forth. But what I found was that the whole crowd started to heckle. But they were polite because they were waiting for their turn yeah. to show up something. And I, I delivered that back and they loved it and they've asked me to come back. That, that, that's an amazing gift. Uh, no, uh, not, not every comic uh, can do that. You know, and there are comics earning decent wages and have great careers who they're not you know being able to take a heckle is about being open you know if you're if you're if your heart is open and you then you hear the heckle and when you properly hear the heckle you can come up with something funny to say if you're afraid of the heckle then you can react clench, like that clench, it, yeah. what comes out of your mouth is too constricted so what you're talking about there that's i mean i enjoy it. that's my favorite part of the game well, th there are. Uh, I would think that that's one of the highest um, forms of stand up. I don't think it get mu it gets much. Oh. <laughs> genuinely, I don't think it gets much um, more in the moment uh, and but impressive that, than that. That's you know? the most enjoyable part. When your heart is pumping and the adrenaline is coursing through you, and you know all it takes is for one of them to come up with a better heckle than yeah. you, but then you're come back. And you're done. The rest of you, because it is like this. Yeah. You just evaporate into nothing after. But to be able to do that is, is a gift. You know, because a lot of comics would arrive and these are my jokes, this is the order I'm going to tell them in, almost oblivious to their circumstances. So for you to be able to entirely uh, welcome the oddness of where you're performing and do a show specifically, not, not even tailored around, but, but kind of uh, based on. People, th it, that's phenomenal, man. Right? That's incredible. Well, thank you very much. Um, I, well, I, didn't, I didn't want to see it. And it's not in the audience, by the way. Yes. One. <laughs> what the fuck are you from? In a town full of them. You know, it was the book was the paid fucking truck of your tickets and everything, wasn't it? Empathy is a huge thing in comedy. It's yeah. Like, that's understanding, not just understanding true knowledge, but understanding true feeling. That's great, but you also need mischief. 
and you also need you know sometimes you're the audience's friend and sometimes you're not and it's a kind of you know it's such a a queer bar of soap you're trying to yeah. catch a hold do you know what I mean it's, yeah. like, it's an odd dynamic you know um, but it's I think it's it's I think it's unpredictability we got in my mind the best Irish comedian to come to tune and to tell a couple of jokes and to get the people behind it because day. I hope that this is going to cause like an avalanche of interest in the arts again because tune really needs it more than just comedy you know the arts itself it's it's dying to death um, and the more rural parts of Ireland. Yeah. I think, I think that needs to be rejuvenated a little bit, you know? One of the key things to that is a space. If you have a space in the town, be it a room above a pub or a room down a side street or an ex cinema, if you have a space in the town where artistic imaginations are given the opportunity to develop, that's the key to it. But I think we're Talk ready to ready. go. <laughs> okay. We have to get your makeup done, Tom. Yes, so, uh, yeah. But I have to say thank you again so much and for taking time to have a chat with me. It's my pleasure, fella. Again, my pleasure. My pleasure. Absolute inspiration to me. And um, I'm yeah. dying to see you now. I'm excited. Uh, no pressure. I mean, um, you you will have to follow me. <laughs> so I hope that's all right. But uh, yeah, thanks a million. My pleasure, fella. My pleasure. God bless. Well, a big huge welcome, guys, to Tom Tiddens. Fucking factory, Coca-Cola. Even the fucking saw doctors aren't together again yet. Like, 